what is going on guys my name is francisco and i was just about to record a video on answering your comments however um i saw that some of these comments are actually very good and they deserve uh, the, to have their own video as it's going to take me longer just to explain and also i think it will benefit a lot more people if i just make a video used for that topic like this comment does aquatic plants require both process of multiplication and rooting or use roots in the multiplication stage well in my opinion it depends on what plants you're working with uh, you're working with um, steam plants or carpeting plants don't even use plant grow regulators these plants grow so fast that before you know it you have to move to a new container uh, for example uh, litorella uniflora this has, is not gro is, um, growing in no plant grow regulators and it just fills those the containers so fast. In one month, I went from one plant to having to this. Same thing for um, dwarf hair grass. One month, I start with one small clump of plants and it's full. And many gracilis, completely full. Um, pear wheat also full on the other hand if you're working with very slow growing plants like um, <clears throat> like anubias or amazon sour or plants that they use uh, naturally divide over time you probably want to start to use some multiplication media use some plant grow regulators for multiplication media however there are some limitations um, for example, uh, if you are used to starting, and basically I used to starting working with this um, with this Anubias Nana White, White Petit, I believe, or Snow White, and I want to propagate this as much as I can. For, uh, however, what happens is that it just grows as a clump. It has a lot of tiny plants in there which is good for propagation for on, on tissue culture, but you don't want to sell this. These plants, if you sell this, uh, what's going to happen is that the person uh, is going to put it on the aquarium and the majority of the plants are going to die because they are so tiny and they are not going to do well. There are also probably some callus growing in there, so they are not going to do well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow this in this container with multiplication media for until the container is pretty much full and what I'm going to do after that is that I'm going to move these plants to new media uh, either with no hormones or with just a little bit of um, rooting hormones. Now I did that experiment not too long ago um, so this is the same plant growing in rooting hormone and i think i probably overdo it which is basically more roots than plants now so you have to find a balance where you have to find a balance where is um the plants look as naturally as they can um in my opinion just don't use plant grow regulators uh if you can't um you want to propagate used to to have more plants at the beginning you probably want to use plant grow regulators however after when you are ready when you are ready to sell uh, i will avoid that um, i think you will, the plants will look better if you are not using plant grow regulators as they will be basically as their more natural stage the plants already have they naturally produce their own plant the plant their own plant hormones so by adding more what what you are doing is that you are manipulating either the multiplication or the rooting however when you want to sell the plants you don't want that uh, you want to have the plants looking as naturally as possible yes it's going to take you more time to have more plants but trust me, after a while, you're going to have more plants that where you can sell, especially if you're growing uh, steam plants. Um, however, a lot of people would like to buy like your Anubias, your Busepulantra, 
but there, there is a trade-off. Like I say, um, even if you are, if your multiplication rate is lower, where you have a, uh, you double your plans like every month. After a few months, you're going to have a very good amount of plans that you can continue growing over time. Now, let me give you one tip of what I'm doing uh, or what I have done and what I'm going to transition in changing. So I'm growing a lot of plants on these uh, four ounce um, portion cups. Uh, these are plastic and they are per basically the perfect size for selling aquatic plants. However, for what I'm doing, I'm doing research and just doing experiment with these plants. So a lot of these plants, they actually go bad uh, quite quickly, where if I don't move this to another another cup, they just die. Uh, it's fine for selling. Uh, however, if you are going to hold this, um, they have a short uh, shelf life, uh, about maybe one to two months um, for most plants. So what I'm going to start doing instead of keeping into these small containers, I want to move on into the 16 ounce daily containers. I have found that if you use these containers, they last a lot longer. They last over over six months in, in here. So for what I'm doing, I'm doing a research. I want to have my plants in here and whatever I need it, I can transfer into here. Something if you are selling plants, also what you can do is have the plants in bigger containers and then whenever you get an order or every now and then move only the ones you need into the smaller four ounce or whatever other containers you're going to sell the plants because if you are keeping everything into the four ounce early containers and then you have let's say 40 50 or even a hundred of these and if you don't sell all of them you are going to end up with a lot of these in the trash However, if you keep them into larger containers, they're going to have a, lar a longer shelf life and you are going to have a less waste. They are, they're going to last for a lot longer. So that's my tip for if you are going to grow aquatic plants. They are great for tissue culture beginners as you can find them everywhere. You can, as they are very popular on the aquarium hobby, you can buy the plants in tissue culture and then um, do your practice with, with them. You can try to see if you can get the plants from one container to another contain to another tissue culture container and keep them sterile. I think that would be that's a great hands-on experience for all the beginners. And also if you start in working with aquatic plants, uh, it can also become your own um, side income um, as a side hustle can start your own business as you can probably sell these plants to your local fish stores uh, as like i say they are very popular on the aquarium hobby uh, anyways i uh, hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have more questions um, i think i want to start making more videos about some of these comments that there are they would take me a little bit longer to explain so just let me know uh, whatever questions you have in the comments and maybe I may just do a video about it later on. All right. Thank you and goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.